Hi guys, uh, this is going to be a quick video to test out uh, the differences in performance of various types of antennas that I have. So I'm going to do a um, very simple test. I'm going to fly in a straight line using uh, first linear antennas, the one that comes with the, uh, the Viper goggles. Then I'm going to switch to uh, pagoda antennas or uh, leaf antenna, call it whatever you want and then uh, I'm gonna try the uh, patch antenna and just for fun I'm also gonna try uh, without any antennas and see what happens. So first I'm gonna use the linear antennas that come with the goggles uh, flying in a straight line and see how they perform. A lot of people uh, dismiss the linear antennas but uh, uh, we'll see how that goes. So here I am about the uh, 100 meters mark and the signal is pretty good. Uh, I have a few breakups here and there but this, the video is still pretty clear. I can fly with absolutely no problem and it's, they're performing very very well actually. And I reached the end of the street here. These are 200 meters from uh, where I am. So coming back I have pretty much no breakups whatsoever, uh, perfect image even at uh, this distance, still perfect image, no breakups, uh, excellent performance and actually I'm very surprised because these are technically I thought these were supposed to be the worst antennas so uh, we'll see if the other antennas are gonna be better or worse so Let's continue with the Pagoda or leaf antennas. These are from Almways and uh, let's see how it goes. So let's fly straight from the same point and seems that I have few breakups. Uh, yeah, it's few more breakups compared to the oh, few more breakups compared to the linear antenna actually. Uh, quite a few. They are still very flyable, but uh, much more noticeable breakups, uh, especially at this distance. The, here I'm about 180 meters, and yeah, I'm getting pretty bad uh, interference here. Um, I can still reach the end of the street, but um, yeah, here's some kids trying to catch my quad, and coming back. I still have some breakups, uh, some pretty nasty actually. So this leaf or pagoda antenna performance are okay, but definitely inferior to the linear antennas. Um, still very usable and flyable. So let's see uh, the next one how it's going to perform. Okay, so the next is going to be the patch antenna and this is uh, it's going to point straight in front of me. So supposedly this is the way that it works and I can still see a lot of breakups actually already here. I'm about 80 meters, 100 meters and whoa that's way too much for comfort i don't feel comfortable continue flying and that's basically half of the distance of the previous ones this is very disappointing i'm not sure what's going on here the patch antenna as far as i know is supposed to be as long as you're in uh, in, in line with the antenna is supposed to be a very strong signal but that's uh, not what happened so let's see just for fun what happens with no antennas at all. This is no antennas and see if, I mean, I'm not expecting much, but uh, I'm getting a lot of breakups. Um, and yeah, this is getting uh, really bad pretty quickly. And again, yeah, it's pretty bad, but I have to say it's as bad as the patch antenna. It almost feels like the patch antenna has no... It's basically it has the same effect as no antenna at all, which is very strange. Um, but that's what 
results from my test. Um, and so the clear winner here is the linear antennas, the one that comes with the goggles. Um, I did not expect that at all. I thought that linear antennas were by far the worst, but they perform better than the Pagoda or Leaf, call it, uh, whatever you want. And the patch antenna was terrible. I don't know why I got such awful performance with it. Uh, if any of you have any suggestion why the patch antenna performed this bad, please leave a comment. And thank you for watching.